sore of all is, she didn't give me any explanation, you know? Where the fuck are our drinks? <laughs> if I had done something wrong, then I'd get it. But I treated her so well. Like her iPad. She was really specific about how she liked her iPad organized. But I remembered all of it. You know how hard it is to color coordinate 97 apps? <laughs> and her laundry! She was really specific how she liked different kinds of clothing dry, but I remembered all that. You know how hard it is to drip dry 23 pairs of women's underwear in a studio apartment? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just so confused. Can you please pass those napkins? You really want to know why your fiancé left you, Tom? Yes, more than anything. She left you because you're a pussy. <laughs> Do you know Laura? Could she tell you this? <laughs> no. It's just really obvious that you're a giant fucking pussy. That's not... no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just nice. Uh -huh. I've been listening to you for what seems like a fucking eternity, and you're actually not very nice. You're just a coward who's scared of what other people think of you. I and mean, there's a huge difference. Girls don't want a pussy, Tom. They already have one right between their legs. Girls want a man who's respectful, but who's also not afraid to say, Fuck you, you crazy bitch. I'm not gonna fold your laundry six different ways because I'm a man and men don't do shit like that. Oh, and another thing? Men don't cry. But Girls like it when Tom Brady cries. <laughs> because he can lead an 80-yard winning game with a great touchdown and still curl Giselle's toes in the bedroom. <laughs> when a pussy like you cries, it just confirms to us how weak men have become, and that saddens us. <laughs> and Tom Brady. <laughs> Can I say something? What? That I'm a bitch? No. This has been so helpful. Oh, well, good. <laughs> I've been killing myself trying to figure out why Laura left. And my friends have been like, Oh, she's crazy. She's been sleeping with other guys. She's been scissoring my sister in the back of my Prius. <laughs> That's funny. But, you actually told me the truth. It's not her, it's me. She left because I'm a pussy. Well, I could have phrased it nicer. No, 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 you're right. I'm a pleaser. I'm wishy-washy. I'm a giant fucking pussy. Oh, this is so great. <laughs> yes, I can stop listening to that fucking Sam Smith album and I can just move on with my life. <laughs> Aw, come here, you. I mean, obviously I have to work on the whole being a giant pussy thing. Right, obviously. But to be honest, I think you're kind of emotionally shut down. And I may not be as big a pussy as you think I am. <laughs> but either way, I need to work on it. It's just, I didn't have a dad growing up, so I'm still trying to sort out a lot of the whole man stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> Christ, my biggest role model as a kid was Mr. Belding from Saved by the Bell. <laughs> Actually, that explains a lot. Yeah. Mr. Belding was a pussy too, right? I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Fuck you, dead Mr. Belding. <laughs> He's not dead. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Belding. <laughs> so can I, um, can I get your number? Really? Right from dead Mr. Belding to, can I get your number? You're the one who told me to stand up, be a man, articulate my whatever. So here I am. I want your number. Give it to me, woman. human history. The worst. Yes. But now I have your number. Now I'm gonna call the shit out of you. <laughs> Please don't. Nah. But really, though, thank you. This has been a real shot in the arm. Just walk away, Tom. Yep. By the way, love the halter top. Mm -hmm. Totally awesome. <laughs> 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 <laughs>